Welcome to our video tutorial where we illustrate a form control list box and a macro assigned to it which will execute when the list box value changes. A list box is a list of items from which a user can select. It facilitates in accepting data from users and making entries in an Excel worksheet. This list box which is being displayed here is a single selection list box which allows selection of a single item only. On selecting an item, that is a region, in the list box, the total sales for the selected region is entered in a cell. Here, we select all regions here. So the total sales for all regions is entered in cell A12. His, these values are picked up from the sales table. All regions will show 300. 1060 as the total sales. Now selecting a different region, we select East here. The total sales for East 89,400 are displayed in this cell. In this example, the source range for the list box items has been kept distinct from the sales table range. This list box is populated from this range A3 to A7. Though these regions are also available in the sales table, but in this example we have kept this list distinct so that you have an option if the sales table has a large number of items, you can select only some of them to be included in the list box. Now we go to the visual basic editor. We go to the standard module 1. Right at the top we have a code which will assign a macro to the list box. We use the on action property of the list box shape to assign a macro. So here we have the list box 1 in sheet 1 using the on action property will assign list box change macro the macro name list box change from my keyboard i am pressing f5 which executes this code so and we have assigned list box change as a macro now we run through this macro which will list box change which will execute when the list box value changes here we have the dim statements we activate the sheet one here we set the object variable to the list box form control. Here we use the value property of the list box. The value property is displays the value which is the index number of the currently selected item. Coming back to the worksheet, our linked cell is A10. So this cell is linked to the list box. The linked cell will display the value or return the value property of the list box. Here we have the items, uh, the currently uh, selected item is East here. And you can see this linked cell displaying an index number of 4. So this is the fourth item in the list. If we select all regions, the value property is 1, that which is the index number which is the first item in the list. So that is how the value property returns. This code supplies the value, the argument being supplied by this code is the value of the list box. and it is calling the sales region sub. So on executing this code, the sales region sub is called and, and the value of the list box is supplied to this called sub. When arguments are supplied to a procedure from another procedure, these are listed or declared between brackets like it is being declared here. So now we come to the sales region sub which is being supplied the value of the list box. 
here this is the sales region sir which has been supplied the index number of the selected item by the calling sub and uh, in this code in this macro we are linking the index number of the selected item to the column of the region in the sales table so if the index number is 1 we will use we will relate or connect this to column i in the sales table you see all regions here the index number 1 so 1 is being linked to all regions that is column i in the sales table if we select 2 in the list box the value is 2 in the linked cell and which will be related to column g in the sales table so here we have two being related to column g so in this macro we are relating the index number of the selected item to the column containing the region in the sales table and then this macro is also calling another sub which is sales total and passing on the column of the region in the sales table so now we run through the sales total macro which is being called this is the sales uh, total sub which was called in which has received the argument as a string value the letter argument which uh, represents the column uh, in the sales table of the selected item here we have the dim statements here we are finding the linked cell range of the list box in two steps the linked cell property is being returned as a string value here and in this line the linked cell range is being returned from the string value so this is how we are getting the range of the linked cell the purpose of getting the linked cell range is to enter the total sales two rows below the linked cell range here if you see the worksheet our linked cell is 810 and we have entered the total sales two rows below the linked cell in cell a12 so this is how we have got the linked cell range and we are entering the total sales in the cell which is two rows below the linked cell range this is how we are convert uh, how we are getting the total sales value the letter argument represents the uh, column uh, containing the region of the selected item in the sales table and in this column in the seventh row we have the sales total sales value so this is the seventh row in the sales table which we are calculating here so this is how we are entering the total sales value by connecting the sales the connected sales uh, the selected sales uh, the selected item in the list box to the sales table here we have set the interior color of the cell to green now this has we have demonstrated one way of getting the total sales by linking the index uh, number of the item to the sales table here we have done this manually the index number has been connected to the uh, sales table we can use some more automation and we now demonstrate uh, an alternate to this method now we come to the standard module 2 we start off again with the code which assigns a macro to the list box here we have assigned we are assigned going to assign a different macro list box macro is being assigned in a similar way as we had demonstrated earlier i am clicking f5 in the on my keyboard and i have done that now and now the list box macro has been assigned and now we run through the list box macro here are the dim statements 
the list box macro also is executed when the value of the list box changes and here we enter the total sales for the selected uh, region in a cell in the same manner here we have set the list box as a first step we are setting the range for the source of items for the list box as A3 to A7 as we had mentioned earlier here we are setting the range for sales table E2 to I7 this is E2 to I7 this is the table range here we are counting the number of rows in the sales table this will return 6 rows because our uh, sales total is displayed in the last row so for that purpose we 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so this is the 6th row in the sales table as previously here we have we are <coughs> getting the linked cell range in two steps here we have got the linked cell as a string value by using the linked cell property of the list box and here we have converted the string value to a range we have set the range as mentioned earlier linked cell of a list box refers to the worksheet range containing the index number of the currently selected item in a list box to return the actual item that is the name of the region linked cell is displaying it as an index number and to get the actual name we use the worksheet index function this index function is determining the index number in the list in the list source range which was calculate uh, which was set here a3 to a7 using the value property of the list box so so this means that the index value 2 will return north which is the region name by using this index function now uh, the next step is we have resized the table uh, the sales table range to the first row here this is the range variable the first row this is the table range e2 to i7 so it has been resized to the first row here we have kept the same number of columns the first row is resized to e2 to i2 here then we use the find method of the range object to find the region here we had determined the region name so, so the range uh, the find method is being used to find the range of the selected region in the sales table so this is the first row we are finding the range in the first row of the sales table by the selected region name so we have finally this will return the range in the sales table so this north is in cell G2 which is being returned here by this variable so now G2 will contain if we offset G2 by 5 rows I row is displays the total number of rows and if we offset the first row by 5 rows we will get in the, re, in the sales table we will get the sales total so if north has been selected so this is G2 we offset it by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here so we will get the total sales so this code will return the total sales of the selected region and these total sales are entered in the cell which is two rows below the linked cell 
we have offset the linked cell range by two rows. So this is the alternate method in which we have returned the total sales of the selected item in the list box. As an alternate to these, this code here, this set of codes here, we can also use the worksheet H lookup function, the horizontal lookup. We have got the range table E2 to I7 here. We have got that there are six rows. Thus, uh, we have to look in the sixth row. The region name, which is the string value, which was returned as a string value, is the lookup value in the range table in the sixth row using the horizontal lookup function. So north is the lookup value in this range table, and we look up north horizontally down in the sixth row and return this value to enter in the cell which is two rows below the linked cell and as a in the final line we are setting the interior color of the cell to green which contains the total sales value so this is how we have returned the total sales value of a selected item of a selected region in the list box from this table we hope you enjoyed watching the tutorial and you found it useful. Thank you.